It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports. In sports, the six Wayne County All-Star teams are competing this week for state championships at four different locations, including the 17U girls softball team for Wayne County, who are playing here at home, defeated Lanier County Tuesday evening by a score of 4-2 at the Ben Park Complex. Ada Sluter went the distance, picking up the win in the circle. Reagan Harvey had a two-run home run in the first inning. The key hit in the game was a bases-loaded single by Ellie Harrison drove in two runs to give Wayne County the 4-2 lead. And again, Wayne County holds on to win. Again, they were up against a very talented pitcher for Lanier County, Jaden Bedenfield. She led Lanier High School to a single-A state runner-up title last year in high school softball. She struck out 14 Wayne County batters but came up short on the scoreboard. So Wayne County wins that ball game yesterday by a score of 4-2. With the win, the girls played today at 10 a.m. against McIntosh County. They'll play two games today, win or lose. It's a championship game set for Thursday at 11.30 a.m. WIFLFM will be at Ben Park Complex this morning, again at 9.50 pregame show, 10 o'clock first pitch, Wayne County and McIntosh in the 17U Girls Tournament, again taking place here in Wayne County, the Ben Park Complex. Wayne County has two all-star teams competing down in Effingham County. The 14U boys are in the tournament. They rolled over Jefferson 20-0 yesterday. They played today at 1 p.m., also in Ithacam County, the 8U Boys All-Stars, they won a thriller 7-6 over the Lions and played today at 11 a.m. against Savannah All-Stars. In that game, Drew Ellis tripled in the winning runs as Wayne County team trailed 6-5 in the bottom of the six. Ellis came up and tripled in the two runs for the victory. Again, they won 7-6 over the Lions, played today at 11 a.m. down in Ithacam County against Savannah. Two teams are in Lions, Georgia, both the 10U Boys and the 10U Girls. Our 10U Girls win game 120-0 over Warner Robins. They play today while the 10U boys play their first game today. And the sixth team is the 12U boys all-star team in Statesburg, Georgia, the Mill Creek Complex. They played the gate today, game one. And WFOFM will update all the action during the day's coverage of the 17U girls softball event here in Wayne County. Also update the action tomorrow here on local sports. But four of the teams in action on Tuesday go 4-0, all remain in the winner's bracket. And again, all in action today. All these tournaments are double elimination events. College World Series is down to the final four out in Omaha, Nebraska. All four teams trying to get to the finals. TCU eliminated Oral Roberts Tuesday, the final score 6-1. And last night, LSU eliminated Tennessee, the final score 5-0. So TCU and LSU advance. And again, today at 2 p.m., Florida plays TCU. Florida is still unbeaten. Tonight at 7, LSU takes on Wake Forest, still unbeaten. Again, the four teams trying to get to the final two. The final two play a best two out of three series beginning Saturday, June 24th, out in Omaha. Braves continue to play winning baseball. They win last night over Philadelphia at Philadelphia 4-2. Braves lead over Miami now five and a half games. They lead Philadelphia by nine full games. The Mets are 13 games back in the NL East. Braves and Phillies again tonight here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. First pitch at 640. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.